This is the time na kailangang i-take ng airplane using the average acceleration na 2.19 meters per second square para ma-reach yung speed na 174 miles per hour. Velocity is the rate of change of displacement with time. Sa acceleration naman, acceleration is the rate of change of velocity with time. Thus, yung isang object nag-accelerate siya whenever nagbabago yung velocity. No matter what the change, it accelerates when yung kanyang velocity increases. And nag-accelerate din ang isang object when the velocity decreases. So, pag nag-increase or nag-decrease yung velocity, ibig sabihin may change of velocity and nagko-cause yun ng acceleration. Acceleration is a change in velocity divided by the time taken. So, this is the equation for the acceleration. Average acceleration is equal to delta V over delta T or final velocity minus initial velocity dahil nga merong change in velocity over final time minus initial time. And ang unit na gagamitin natin sa average acceleration is meter per second square. Of all the concepts na madi-discuss natin in this chapter, perhaps none is more central to physics than acceleration. Palaging kabilang yung acceleration when it comes to a lot of problems sa physics. So, Galileo, for example, pinapakita niya that yung falling bodies move with constant accelerations. Si Newton naman, pinakita naman niya that yung acceleration and force are directly related. Makikita natin yan sa mga upcoming lessons natin. It is particularly important to have a clear, complete understanding of acceleration before leaving this chapter. Yung unit ng acceleration or ng average acceleration, acceleration is meter per second square. Para naging ganyan? So, yung velocity natin is meter per second and ang time naman natin is second so if we combine it this is meters per second and magiging multiply to this is over 1 kasi so this is reciprocal ilalagay natin dito this is 1 over s and this will be meter per s times s is second square kaya naging meter per second square yung unit ng acceleration This is generally spoken as meters per second squared nga. For example, yung acceleration of the gravity of the Earth's surface is approximately 9.81 meters per second squared, which means that yung velocity of a falling object ay nagbabago 9.81 meters per second kada segundo. In addition, makikita natin that yung average acceleration can be positive, pwede rin maging negative, and pwede rin maging zero. In fact, Acceleration is another one-dimensional vector, just like displacement and average velocity. Example number one, a certain car go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7.4 seconds. What is the average acceleration of this car in meters per second squared? From the definition itself, ang average acceleration natin is the change in velocity divided by the elapsed time, which is A, average is equal to delta V or change in velocity over delta t. Before we solve for the average acceleration, ang given sa atin is miles per hour. Kaya lang, inas ang inahanap sa atin is yung average acceleration in meters per second square. Ito siya. From miles per hour, kailangan may convert muna natin into meters per second yung average velocity na given sa atin. So, yung delta v is equal to V final minus V initial. Ganon din yung delta T natin. This is time final minus time initial. Kaya lang, yung initial velocity kasi natin is, sabi dito is from 0 to 60. So, kahit hindi na natin i-convert yung 0, since 0 lang din naman siya. This is 0 na. I-convert na lang natin from miles per hour to meters per second is yung 60 miles per hour. We have 60 miles per hour. And ang conversion factor natin dito is 1 mile, lalagay natin sa denominator para makancel siya. 1 mile is equal to 1,609 meters. And hour to second naman, 1 hour, lalagay naman natin sa numerator again para makancel. And 1 hour is equivalent to 3,600 seconds. So cancel na to, cancel. Cancel, cancel. Ang matitira sa atin is meters per second na lang. By calculating, 
60 times 1,609 divided by 3,600 is equal to 60 miles per hour now is equivalent to 26.82 meters per second na. So, ilalagay na natin sa equation, average acceleration is equal to, ang final velocity natin is 26.82 meters per second and ang initial velocity is 0 divided by ang time final natin is 7.4 second and ang initial time natin is from 0 lang din average acceleration now is equal to 26.82 divided by 7.4 is equal to 3.62 and this is meters per second square na kasi mamumultiply itong s na to so this is the answer for example number 1 example number 2 an airplane has an average acceleration of 2.19 meters per second square during takeoff if the airplane starts at rest, how much time does it take for it to reach a speed of 174 miles per hour? So in this problem, we have a given average acceleration and speed na kailangan natin i-attain. Ang, ang inahanap sa atin is yung time. Kaya lang, the twist in this problem is yung average acceleration natin is given in meters per second square while yung speed naman natin is 174 miles per hour. So, we have to convert either one of the two para magtama. Kasi kapag hindi natin kinonvert, talimbawa, ginamit agad natin itong dalawang quantity na to into the equation, malaki yung magiging kaibahan ng answers. Kailangan merong mag-adjust sa kanilang dalawa. And yung adjust na lang natin para mas madali is yung miles per hour. convert natin yung speed natin na 100 74 miles per hour into meters per second. We have the formula, average acceleration is equal to change in velocity over change in time. Isa lang ang given sa atin na velocity, eto siya, and this is the final velocity. Ibig sabihin yung initial velocity natin is 0 na agad. This is V final minus V initial 0 na to. Dahil yung airplane daw ay nag-start sa rest, yung initial is 0 over time final minus time Initial. Since nag-start sa zero ulit or sa rest ulit yung airplane, pwedeng i-zero na rin ito. And we have the equation now, V final over T final. And ang inahanap sa atin is yung time. How much time does it take for it to reach that speed? So, i rearrange lang natin equation. And by cross-multiplying, we have time final is equal to velocity final over the average acceleration. Ang problema muna natin is yung conversion ng velocity natin from miles per hour to meters per second. So we have 174 miles per hour. And same sa kanina, this is 1 mile is equivalent to 1,609 meters times another conversion factor for the r naman this is 1 r is equivalent to 3600 seconds and by conversion 174 miles per hour is equivalent to 77.77 meters per second and ito yung gagamitin na natin to find the value of the time time final is equal to ang final velocity na natin we have 77.77 meters per second divided by the given average acceleration which is 2.19 meters per second square. So, makakancel yung meter, makakancel din yung isang second, cancel ito, and dalawa yung second sa acceleration natin. So, isa lang makakancel, may matitirang isa. Therefore, ang unit na natin dito is second na nga, magbibit na siya as a Time. 77.77 divided by 2.19 is equal to 35.51 second. This is the time na kailangang i-take ng airplane using the average acceleration at 2.19 meters per second square para ma-reach yung speed na 174 miles per hour para mag-take off na siya. And this is example number 2.